Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here at Premier Leather Crafters. Down here in the Dirty South, it's raining, so I decided that I would get some work done, work on some more work. Uh, after a successful, uh, very successful, I think, ad campaign the last two weeks, well, the last week, uh, I ran two ad campaigns simultaneously, which is something that I will get into a video about later on. But I want you guys to understand that it's not just about the leather crafting. Leather crafting is good, but you have to know how to go out there and sell the product. So stay tuned very closely. I'll be doing a video on that. But uh, one more tip that I want to talk to with you guys about is a process called wet forming. Now, wet forming can probably be done... I mean, crafters, every crafter has their own technique of doing it. There's a base process to do it. And if you're stuck into that old frame of mind, a mentality frame of mind of doing wet forming is going to take you forever. So again, you guys already know that I'm, I'm more about the the economics, the saving the money as, as and so as maximizing your profits. So if you can spend a little money in time, because time is the one commodity that is the most expensive thing in the world, time. Because once it's gone, it's gone. There will never be another February 11, 2018 ever again. So if you waste this time, it's gone. And it can cost you a lot of money. But you guys know already, those of you who have subscribed and followed my videos, you guys know that I'm all about saving money, I'm all about maximizing your profits, and maximizing your time. Because if you can maximize your time, then you can work on another project while something else is going on or whatever, which I'm going to get into today. And this is about wet forming. Um, and now... The way that I do this, and the way that it's not really a technique, it's more of a tip and a process, and I think that it's very simple. I think it can, uh, ooh, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, that means money coming. When your hand go to itching, that means money coming. Y'all remember that. That's a whole Southern thing now. Uh, but anyway, um, it's a, 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 a not only an economical way to do it, and not only a more precise way to do it, it, it is a precise way where you can get it right the first time, minimize uh, mistakes and mess ups. The only difference with doing this simple tip this way is you would have to get all of your carving and tooling work done first. But I'm just going to show you the basic principle of how to do this. So. What we're going to do, uh, I picked up some work from a, a client, uh, a, a new customer that's, uh, I'm really building a relationship on making a client, making as a client. And, and this is going to be something real special. So you guys stay tuned for these in all major sports stores real soon. And, and, and you guys look for the Premier Leather Crafters logo. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys a way of how to do um, wet forming the way that I do it and you can use these in any any particular product any project I mean to say so what I've done I went to Walmart and bought the food saver uh, fresh saver this is a little hand worn vacuum pump and basically, if you want to go, this cost me every bit of $17, but on the saving end, on time, is the greatest part about it. Now, you can go with a little bit high tech if you really are concerned or you really want to make sure that it's done right the first time. You can, um, you can pretty much go ahead and, and uh, get the bigger ones. I think the larger ones were on sale for $39 at Walmart. I just spilled some water up here, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm running, running away from you. But, uh, okay, so, but I went and bought this for $17, $17.47. You can go buy the larger one, and actually, eventually, I will get into the larger ones, especially when I get off 
uh, start the bigger the project. Like if somebody wanted a a Bowie knife, or if somebody wanted a, a machete, or if they wanted a, a axe uh, or a hatchet to be wet for. Them. You know, when you get off in the projects that size, you want to make sure that you get the bags to fit them. So the bags that came with this kit are just quart size, quart size bags, standard bags. These are standard uh, food saver bags where you get ready to put these in the freezer. And I think you guys are getting ready. You guys are already figuring out where I'm going with this. So, um, but these are vacuum seal bags. Now. Well, what I'm going to do is a new project that I'm working on, and this is going to be a hip carrier, and my pieces are already prepped and cut. They're already prepped and cut. So I'm pretty much just going to, and this is just an illustration I'm showing you guys, and then I have my other piece that I'm going to set up on top of here. Now, before you, before you do all this, Wet forming is exactly what it says. You're going to a uh, bathroom sink, kitchen sink, it really doesn't matter, a foot tub, bowl, whatever have you. You want to make sure that you fully submerge your leather. You, now, in this case, we're not going to case it or mist it like we usually do on tooling or carving work. We're going to fully submerge. Now, if you get the Al Stallman book on that, it'll tell you anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. They really want that thing to be floppy paper wet, which is not bad. But the more water, and this is what I find out, and I'm not saying that Al because Al is a legend in this business. What I'm saying is that's more drying time that is required. So... We're now that we have a more modern technique to wet forming, and you don't have to wait till the summertime to the old Indians or the old natives, uh, native, uh, natives, aboriginal people of this country used to let it set out in the sun all day and it'll completely abstract that, that water to draw that out of. But what we're going to do, we're going to use our food saver. And what I've done, you guys can see that, because you can already see my my piece that I'm going to wet form and see that. And I've taken it and mashed it, prepped it just a little bit because this is really wet. And now for the quart size bags, this is an ideal shape in the quart size bag. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to work this as steadily as I can making sure that it doesn't move. And I want you guys to see this, so I'm gonna move this camera down. I want you to make sure that it doesn't move. And then we're gonna zip lock this close. And you can hear this zip lock system really crimp and move around. And we're just gonna give it a thorough press. Now, there's a circle on here that it's easy guideline and easy way to follow that. I think you guys can see the circle right there. So we're gonna put this right on top and I'm going to push the button. Now what I want you guys to see or notice is you see the bag drawing up. This is what you want to do. And what that is doing, ladies and gentlemen, this is wet forming the vacuum seal way and it's pulling all of the pulling all of the air out and I'm just gonna bump that a couple of more times now this is fully vacuumed seal you see how it's perfectly uh, molding this thing together now what's going to happen is I'm going to put this in front of um, being at winter time and it's raining outside, I'm going to put this in front of, not in front, but cl very close to the heater, or you can put it very close to your central heating and air unit, just somewhere where it will help dry up this moisture. You want it to draw out the moisture in here that is prominent because we all know that water and plastic 
and simply, especially we want it to dry out fast because we don't want it to start to mold. That's one thing that we don't want it to do. So we're going to put this in front of, and I can, and you can flatten this back out, ladies and gentlemen. Even though it's all vacuum sealed, you can flatten this back out to where you um, will know you'll be trimming. And see, I already have one piece that's primary trimmed. So I'm going to cut off all of this excess, but not before I pre-punch, pre-punch with my chisel punch, all of my stitching holes. Now, this is not the actual project itself. This is just an example of how you would do this completely. Now, later on, you can get the larger bags for larger holsters. If I wanted to do a, a 357 style holster or, or a 1911 holster and I wanted to wet mold it, I would get a larger, like a gallon bag. And same thing, $17. And it pulls all of the air out and it forms this thing right around my piece. You couldn't get a better form on this without the, the food saver. Now, here it is again, ladies and gentlemen, a product that is not leather, has nothing to do with the leather world, but a very economical tool to use and into making your work better. We've already discussed it one time with the hemp bottles on dye and background work, which is very has nothing to do with the leather world, but it is a saver and a game changer. So is the, the food saver. It's a game changer as far as leather world. And just to look at that before we sign off. Look at that. And that's the perfect form. Yes. Cell phone cases. Gun holsters. Snuff cases. Uh, uh, Zippo carriers. Zippo cases. Put it in there and wet wet mold it. That is ideal. Game changer, ladies and gentlemen. Game changer. Hey, well, let me get this thing about ready. And I was just going to sign off just like that, but I'm going to get this right. But hey, you guys already know, like I said, I'm all about getting my camera right. Okay, perfect. Um, economics. It saves on money saves on money only $17 and it didn't cost me a whole day following that with my with my modeling spoon and with my edge creaser and all of that because now it has already perfectly formed to my project and that's not going anywhere the only thing it's going to take is putting this in front of some heat and if you really wanted to get jazzy you can now uh, you can get a hair dryer to kind of help the process, but that's still limiting you to work on one project. What this has saved me time to do is I can let this dry out naturally in front of the heat, and then now I can I got time I have time to go and work on something else, which I have. Man, uh, let me just show you guys a glimpse after the ad campaign. Bow, watch bands. Gun slings. This is crazy. And, and, and I'm going to get there. And I'm also going back in, tightening up on my drawing, tightening up on my roses. And this is going to be a great piece right here. This is going to be a new, um, uh, a, a new Cowboy Series long wallet that, that we do every, I do these every year. And I only make 30 wallets a year. So, but ladies and gentlemen, um, I promise, I promise, I promise, here very soon, maybe in the next couple of weeks or so, I'm going to do that ad campaign video where I'll go in 